All right, hey Taurus, so we are doing a ghosted energy check-in for you guys. I have not been here in a little while and I'm feeling 100% better than I was, so I apologize. I'm sure everybody missed me, right? So this is a ghosted read and you're gonna know this is your read by your energy and how you feel about the person that's coming through your energy so if that doesn't resonate check your moon rising and venus placements please and let's just see how you're feeling right now taurus the seven of swords the four of wands the five of pentacles all right so for right now um the seven of swords is the stolen heart card you know it's um also about not being able to trust people trust situations trust other um, beings in your energy zone all right and this where this is a ghosted read so the intention um is is that this person has ghosted you so you're feeling kind of um you know a little bit um what's the word Mm. mistrusting when it comes to the situation and this connection all right and you're probably feeling that way because you feel very deeply connected to this person all right the four of wands is the 11 11 a card um you've heard it referred to as the 11 11 the twin flame card but this is also um to me this card represents a deep soul connection all right and that's um how you how maybe you are feeling about this connection the five of pentacles is that's that that's the energy that's ghosted you left you out in the cold all right is not talking to you um left without reason has not spoken to you with with you know any reason at all so they, they've just kind of left they took they took your heart and they ran with it so your energy is kind of low right now um you feel very deeply connected to this person but you guys haven't spoken it's like they took something away from you that you that made you really happy so how do you feel about this person currently? The Page of Pentacles. How you feel about this person? Um, possibly like a missed opportunity here. All right. You got, um, when it comes to you and this connection, um, you got the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is all about calling calling it in. This is about manifestation. This is luck. This is kind of seeing in the future, um, envisioning um, something, and, and then putting your intentions out there and making it happen. All right. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles coming through on this energy, this tells me that you guys are open to actually having a new beginning with this person. All right. Depending probably most likely on the reason why they ghosted you. Um, how you feel about them is a missed opportunity for sure. All right. Um, conversely, um, the Four of Cups to me also represents opportunity. Um, so you could just feel that this is something that's uh, been guided together. All right. By your by spirit guides, by angels. Temperance card is a soulmate. Um, this is a soulmate energy, but this is also about having patience. Okay. Um, and this person could bring you... Um, the, it, it, in all honesty, it, it could just be that this person is testing your patience, all right, when it comes to the whole embodiment of love. Um, but overall, I feel like you actually do have a lot of care for this person coming through your energy, all right? Um, but for whatever reason, they abandoned you. Um, you're not feeling too great. Your energy is not feeling too great. However, how you look at this person is they're, they're here for a reason. This connection is guided together for a reason. Um, you believe that fate has somehow brought you and this person together. So the person that's on your mind, what is their situation, their energy? Their energy. So this person... Um, they're not feeling very good either. All right. The five of wands, um, this is fighting. It's a depiction of fighting arguments. So, you know, you could have, um, you could have 
um, you and this person could have had um, a connection, all right, and maybe a fight or argument has um, perhaps pulled um, the energies away from each other, all right? So um, I, I almost feel like you guys could have actually gotten in a fight or an argument and then kind of separated, or you're just doing things, um, you know, independent of each other. And um, I just, I, I kind of feel like there's, there's something here um, that's, this does not feel like the ghosted sets that I do, guys. This right here looks like you guys have gotten in an argument, a fight, um, or you're you're stressed about something. Uh, when it comes to this connection, that um, you guys it, it has pulled you guys apart basically. So the person that's coming through um, your energy is coming through with the three of swords, the nine of swords, and the five of wands. All right, this is all stress, worry, anxiety, fear. Um, it's lack of communication. It's, um, we're not talking, we're not speaking. It's kind of that energy. All right. So let's just see why this person has pulled back their energy. They're going through something, the tower card coming through. This person's conflicted about something. All right. Um, they're going through something. So if you and this person had a disagreement or differences of opinions, um, ideas, beliefs, whatever, um, I feel like that's probably what ran um, the split between you guys. All right, the tower card, this person um, right now is not, go they're not having a very good time. All right, um, they're just kind of focusing on self, taking care of self. All right, but I feel like with the judgment card coming through, they are um, quite hopeful themselves that this is a connection that comes back together. Um, you're going to know, I, I do feel like for you guys, Taurus, and this is the first read I've done since I've been back, um, I do feel like you're going to know the, the reason um, why this person has pulled their energy back. All right. Um, just because I feel like there, there's been words that have been exchanged between you and this person. So I'm not sure if this is, if this is a, a ghosted read more so than a, a separation read or something that caused conflict and separation. And it could just be too, that when you guys have separated or pulled back your energy, it's gotten to this point now where you haven't heard from this person. And so it, it you know, it, it's, it's molding into the ghosted type of scenario. Um, so why did this person ghost? I just, I just kind of feel like, um, whatever it was that led you guys to have a disagreement because there's a lot of negative energy that's going on here. So I feel like you, you kind of are aware of the reason for this person's ghosting or they're pulling it back. All right. Um, let's just see how this person feels about you. They don't want it to be over with. All right. They don't want it to be over with the knight of swords. So when you guys had disconnected, it could be that this, uh, connection, the disconnection kind of, um, happened. So in haste, all right, the 10 of pentacles, um, this is, you know, wanting that wish fulfillment and they can see that happening with you. Um, once you guys can kind of reconvene or reconcile the differences that, um, had led you guys to kind of break apart. The 10 of swords actually came in reverse. And so that says that this person does not want this connection to be done with. All right. They actually fear that it could be over with. Um, are they coming back? Are they coming back? I feel like you guys are going to have a coming back around. All right. The four of, of pentacles in reverse tells me that this person is going to have, or, um, you know, you're going to see light shed on this open heart space where whatever it is that caused you guys to kind of separate or pull away. Um, this person probably threw up a, a guarded heart. Uh, they could have thrown up some blockages, you know, that uh, four of pentacles is about not letting anybody in. It's not coming around, you know, um, but the four of pentacles in reverse tells me that this person is going to open up their heart space. Uh, for this connection. The Hierophant card um, is a confirmation. All right. Um, this is a spiritually guided connection. I feel like it's been um, through the, the, the get-go of this read. All right. So then we got the Queen of Swords, which is a depiction of needing to communicate. All right. And you guys, um, to me on this connection, it seems like that's what needs to happen in order for you guys to actually see growth. You guys need to, to open and honestly communicate with each other. 
um, you know, whatever it was that drove you guys to have the disagreement. I'm not going to pull on that. You guys are going to all have different kind of scenarios that are happening. Um, so you're going to know why, you know, for each individual um, reason that this uh, happened. And I kind of feel like what happened is you guys had some sort of interaction um, that was less than desirable that kind of led up to the separation or the not speaking uh, that's kind of turned into this ghosting type of feeling. All right. Um, but this person is going to come back. You guys are going to come back together. Um, it, I'll just see if this person's going to initiate this. This person's going back and forth. All right. This person's definitely going back and forth on whether they should initiate the growth and the communication. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, I almost feel it's going to go um, some ways for some of you and some some ways for some of you guys. This person's going to be reaching out for others of you. It's like you're going to have to do some of the legwork too. All right. So it just kind of depends on... Um, you know each different scenario you guys i don't know if it was this person's fault or if it was your fault um it's just something that you guys are going to have to kind of go you know uh, you're going to know with within your case you're going to know if you're going to want to reach out to this person what i kind of see here is it going both ways i see the majority of the person that you're dealing with um, I don't see them, I don't see them going out of their way to reach out, but I do see them responding. All right. So it just depends on how immature or how mature, um, each of you guys are and the person that you're dealing with. Um, but I, I do feel like this is going to be a connection that comes back together. Let's just see what their intentions are with you. Their intentions. They recognize the soul connection here, Taurus. They have not been able to think about anybody else but you. All right, look at that. The Nine of Cups. They want to be happy. They want to make you happy. Uh, I just feel like for some of you guys, you could be dealing with somebody who's um, immature in the mindset. But ultimately, with that Eight of Swords energy, they haven't been able to let you go, regardless of how long you guys have been in disconnection or not talking the empress card coming through with that nine of cups this is wish fulfillment this person knows that you belong with them they know that they belong with you that's how they feel um but it's almost like some of you guys are going to have to be the ones that are more responsible and and go that extra step to reach out if that's if that's the case if that's what you want so let's just see what the next 30 days brings for you guys the next 30 days Look at that. The Four of Swords, depiction of coming out of the break. The Five of Swords, where there was conflict comes resolution. All right, you guys are going to be very happy with the outcome of this. King of Pentacles. You got the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. Some of you guys could have a deep, um, long-term connection to this person coming through. And I feel like for some of you guys, um, if you have a long-term committed connection with this person it is coming back around you probably have been feeling that anyway this feels more of um kind of just like a fight this feels like an argument more than opposed to like a, a, a you know a typical ghosting read that i usually do let's see what your advice is your advice you guys just need to take your take your time all right. Um, for those of you who haven't spoken to this person in a while, it's just coming through as delayed news. And when it does come back around, just take your time as what your angels and spirit guides are saying. All right. This connection is deep for a reason and it's here for a reason with that will of fortune and everything ultimately is going to be okay. You guys just need to learn how to communicate is what I see going on here. There's a lot of confliction. There's a lot of battle. There's a lot of, I feel it's mental, um, mental stuff that's going on. Um, opposed to anything else. So I'm going to leave it there, Taurus. You guys, good luck. 30-day um, intention set. All right. Take it easy.